So today we're going to present to you the three laws of motion by Sir Isaac Newton, presented by Colton Pugh and Jacob Parsons, which will lead us to the first law of motion. Colton. All right. So in the first law of motion, it says that an object will at an object at rest will remain at rest, an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. And for the, when it's in motion, the thing that stops it is called friction and it will slow down the object when it's rolling. There's friction on all things, even ice. It's just um, not as great as if it would be on this velvet uh, pool table. So, yeah, that's what stops it when it's in motion, in case you were wondering. And so the first law, as I said, an object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. So you see the orange ball is just sitting there, and Colton, go ahead and hit it with the cue ball. All right, so the orange ball moved because it was acted upon by the cue ball. That's the outside force. And Colin, go ahead and line up the billiard balls again. So the second law is it's just explaining why why the orange ball will move. And uh, so you have a couple basic things here. Uh, acceleration and force is it's what makes the orange ball move. The force comes from Colton's arm in the pull cue. And acceleration is how quickly the white ball will move down and hit the orange ball. And all velocity is, which it's just acceleration with a direction. So whichever direction he chooses to make the cue ball go, and he's going to hit the orange ball. Go ahead. Okay, so as you see, Colton, go ahead and set those up again. Um, the white ball, it hit the orange ball, and they went into opposite directions and whatnot. So uh, another thing, the force, it's directionally... It is directly proportional. The force, or the acceleration is directly proportional to the force. So, however fast that ball goes depends on how hard Colton hits it. So go ahead and do that again. Try to get a, so we can go on to the third law. There, that's a good one. Which, that'll bring an example to the third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You saw how when, he, when the white ball hit the orange ball, it transferred the energy, but the white ball just completely stopped right there, and the orange ball went down the lane and came back up, and that depended on how much force he put in to the strike. So there you have the three laws of Sir Isaac Newton.